This week, we are going to be diving into Conjugal Visit by Carlotta Griffin Hadnot. This book was published in 2019. Um, I got this maybe earlier this year. Um, so let's just dive into the back, see what we're going to be getting ourselves into. Conjugal Visit is a story of Desiree Hardy, an ordinary housewife of two kids that is at a crossroads in her marriage to her husband of 20 years, Desmond Hardy. She's about to embark on a journey of sexual evolution that will awaken passions that she never knew existed. So straight from the back, we know, I mean, from the back and the title, all right, we can put two and two together. It's going to be some steamy stuff going on in here, which it is. There is a lot of that. Um, our key player is going to be Desiree Hardy um, and then her husband and other people in her life. Okay. Um, Daniel being the one that she had the conjugal visit with. All right, this story is told from several different perspectives. Daniel, Desmond, Mahogany. It it kind of jumps all over the place. I knocked this out in maybe an hour, I want to say, maybe a little less. Um, there's not a whole lot going on here. Um, but for the most part, it is the story of a woman who is just having sex with her husband um who only knows her husband so to speak everything is just vanilla it's she's happy he's happy until one day she is not <laughs> she's not happy with um the vanilla life that she has and so she starts a kind of relationship with Daniel who is in prison. He's on death row. Um, and so after a few kind of a hot and steamy uh, messages, she goes and visits him and they do it. Okay. Then, like I said, he's on death row. So uh, maybe a few days later, she thinks that he's dead. Um, but actually he's not. He gets out on a technicality and comes into a whole lot of money for being wrongfully in prison. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot and not a lot happening in this book at the same time. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay. Because like I said, the story kind of jumps all over the place uh, with so many different perspectives and it sadly suffers from the thing that these type of books suffer from which is all sex and no plot um so <sighs> But I mean, otherwise, I think that the author did a pretty good job um, of putting the story together. Maybe there'll be more in a like in a series kind of way um, because it's it's so short and it kind of hops in and then hops out towards the end with her really deciding to like she comes to that that crossroads where it's like do i stay with my husband and leave the he's like a millionaire now like the millionaire ex-con free criminal <laughs> or you know like what do i do and so um in the end she kind of just decides to have it all in a sense like she just wants the best of both worlds um which is okay i guess i guess it's okay uh which is kind of just like the story the story is okay i couldn't connect with it um and i wanted to so badly 
but I just I couldn't it uh, you have to suspend a lot of belief with this story and huh yeah so there's that I don't know is there anything more to say about it I don't really think so I don't really think so I think that yeah I think that that really about sums it up it really well sums it up it's just it's an okay story can i say it was a great time nope not really i it's not my cup of tea um but if you are into um zane and maybe rashonda tate billingsley um you may enjoy this um this of course is one of the indie books that I picked up um, a while back so yeah I'm sorry I kind of just spazzed out there for a minute uh, just trying to think of anything to give this story other than an A for effort because that's about all that's going on here so have you read it would you like to read it okay um if you have read it what did you think about the dynamic of daniel and desiree and desmond and mahogany and <laughs> this whole cast of characters and actually i think that she does list yes she does list the characters in here and the the role that they play um so, that's that. Conjugal visit. So, yeah. Until next time, guys. Happy reading.